Novak Djokovic is aware he could face more bans. Having become teammates at the Laver Cup, Novak Djokovic has sent a warning to rival Rafael Nadal as the Serbian star's one Grand Slam title behind his rival, and was not able to draw level at the U.S. Open. The 35-year-old was unable to compete in New York as unvaccinated foreign visitors are banned from entering the United States. Djokovic's next opportunity to join Nadal on 22 major wins is at the Australian Open in January, where he is likely to be able to compete despite being deported from the country at the beginning of this year. Djokovic and Nadal joined Team Europe at the Laver Cup for Roger Federer's farewell, but now Djokovic has sent the Spaniard a warning that he is coming for the all-time Grand Slam wins record by admitting that he is hungry for more trophies. In recent years, I have other priorities. I spent more time with the children, Djokovic told Sportal. I'm mentally adapted to such a life, but my body is grateful because I manage to keep fit. I still like to train. I do the usual routines that I have every day. I am eager for tennis and competition. I'm hungry for trophies. I have maintained the top level of tennis by playing in the biggest tournaments as he is unvaccinated against COVID-19. Djokovic has said that he is ready to face the consequences as he prepares to return to the ATP Tour. He is in Tel Aviv to compete on the Tour for the first time since May, having overcome a wrist injury he picked up against Felix Agurelius Syme in the Laver Cup, and admitted it was tough watching the US Open as a non-competitor but accepts the consequences including possible future bans. It was not easy for me to watch Grand Slam matches without participating. Djokovic added. However, I had to accept such a situation. I made a decision, and these are its consequences. Djokovic was able to celebrate his friend and rival Federer's career as he retired from professional tennis at the Laver Cup, and the Serbian admitted that it was one of the most beautiful moments anyone had experienced on a tennis court. Thank you.